Yeah, I'm ready when you are. All right. is Pontek. I'm here with Hayden. Hi. Hi. We're at the Triad Anime Con. Yeah, um, Hayden has done stuff for uh, Goblin Slayer, for um, Fruit Basket, Fire Force, just everything. Yeah. Uh, Helpful Fox Senko-san. We'll have a lot of good stuff. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, first question is, yeah. what got you into voice acting? Um, I started in musical theater and show choir when I was very little, mm -hmm. um, and I've always been super interested in the performing arts. I used to, at like age three, I used to get up at like my sister's like piano recitals, like, I want to sing, I want to do things. So I've always been very interested in performing. Uh -huh. and as I got older, I got into anime and car much uh, more into cartoons. I'd always really enjoyed them, but then mm -hmm. I started watching uh, the behind the scenes of them like recording, for, yes. like Teen Titans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, they're acting. That's a thing that I can do. That's yes. part of acting. And I was like, I got interested. I started on a laptop mic in my bedroom when yes. I was like 12. <laughs> and um, I just kept practicing. I started taking um, voiceover specific classes uh, to work on my acting, work on just mic technique, learning like the ins and outs of voiceover. And I've been in and out of classes since, since I was 12. So I'm 26 now. So I've just been doing an interview. <laughs> I can't see from there. <laughs> when your husband needs your attention. <laughs> but uh, I've been in and out of voiceover classes um, ever since then, and I was lucky enough to take an ADR class, or automatic dialogue replacement, or dubbing class in Vancouver, Canada, where I'm from. Okay. And, um... Canadian? Yeah. I was born and raised in Canada, and I made my way out here somehow. <laughs> but um, I took an ADR class with the studio Azure Productions, mm -hmm. and... They liked me enough that they put me on their list for auditions. Mm -hmm. I auditioned, booked a part, uh, one of the lead characters, and I just kept booking with them through their audition process. And eventually I got myself together and I moved down to Texas because I had a chance to just audition at Funimation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the wonderful Tia Ballard auditioned me. She kept me on her roster. And then I started getting brought in for uh, Fitz and Walla. So all the background voices, and um, it just kind of snowballed from there. I got, uh, I auditioned for Goblin Slayer, and it just kind of exploded from there, and it's just been snowballing ever since. Yes. <laughs> um, you do dice commission work. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite set of dice that you ever made? Oh, um, I made a car I made a set of dice. Um, Ooh, I've made so many fun ones. Um, I made a set of dice based on my D and D character, uh -huh. so it's uh, this red, uh, it's like a translucent red with black feathers in each oh, of them. Wow. I'm a big fan of doing inclusions mm -hmm. in my dice. Uh, I also made a set that kind of looked like fire. It looked like lava, mm -hmm. so it's like fire and brimstone and stuff like that. It's probably two of my favorite sets I've ever made, but mm -hmm. I think I say, oh, this is my favorite set every time I make a new set. Because you learn something new each time. Yeah, I'm learning new techniques. I made uh, for fellow voice actor Afi Yu, she commissioned me to make a tiny tea set. Mm. So there's like tiny tea cups and everything and it looks like wow. fresh poured milk. I'm like, if huh? you don't like these, I'm keeping them. How long that these take are so cute. How, how long it take to do that dice? Part of me? The, the teacup one? How long did you do it? Oh, gosh. Um, in total, mm -hmm. like, the pour time, it took maybe an hour uh, per side. But um, in total, with the curing time, about three days. That's not too bad. Yeah, plus polishing time, so about three, four days. That's about oh, how long it takes me to make a set. Okay. Uh, what's your big three for anime? Like my big three or like your, the big your, three? Yours. Ooh, okay. Your, so uh, don't, don't be upset. Okay, uh, D. Green Man is my favorite anime of all time. Uh -huh. so that's my big three, or that's one of them. Um, ooh. There's so many good ones. Um, try not to say ones that I'm in because that feels selfish. But I really love, I love Goblin Slayer. 
Um, oh. oh, okay. I can, we can pause for that um, if you want to. No, it's all good. Oh. Um, I love Goblin Slayer. Uh -huh. um, let's see. I also... Hmm, I'm going to... I really love Digimon. Digimon, yes. I just went through... I watched the original dub. The first three seasons, pretty much. Yeah. I watched, after that was I watched the original dub, but I went through and watched the original 52 episodes of Digimon Adventure in the Japanese recently. Uh-huh. I have never cried more. <laughs> <laughs> the last episode ruined me. It's so good. I love Digimon. Yes. Right, so, um, what's your advice for anybody who gets in the industry? Um, acting classes. Um, and be ready to put in the work. It is a very tough. Um, it's a very tough industry. It is like the second most uh, competitive industry next to modeling. So you got to be ready for that. But if you love it and you're willing to put in the time and the work, it's so so worth it. And so acting classes and get used to performing arts, improv, all that stuff. All right. Last question is: Do you have anything that you want to promote or you want to say or let um, people know about? Let's see. Uh, well, my dice business, you can find me on Etsy at Guildhall Dice. So that. I don't have much voiceover stuff out right now that I can talk about, but I'm going to shamelessly promote uh, my D&D show that I'm on uh, called Net19 Official. Um, we stream every Thursday and Saturday um, at 5 p.m. PST on Thursdays and 12 o'clock p.m. PST on Saturdays. It's those are long-running campaigns, and they're so fun. And it's it's me acting. It's me yes. doing improv and acting as a bunch of different characters. So if you want more of me, that's where you can find it. Um, or my dice stuff. You can also find me on Twitter at Hey Bell Voice. All right. Thank you so much for the interview. I'll let you get back because we cut off people from coming up it's all here. Good. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.